Hello, top of the morning to you, or afternoon or evening, whichever is applicable. Welcome to iBasiac. Now then, some of you, uh, hardcore fans, probably watched me opening and giving this a bit of a clean up. I've not touched it since that video. I haven't even cleaned it up even more. Well, I have. Yes, I have. I tell a lie. I cleaned it up a bit more underneath, so it's now fairly clean. But um, as you know, I didn't really want the machine for this part anyway. It's the internal bits I'm after to try and fix my Ensign Stealth that was delivered faulty. So here it is. Unboxed a couple of years ago. I'm going to unbox it again. I'll show you what's wrong with it if you haven't seen my original video. And then all I'm going to do is put this head on this body because I think it should be more or less the same. I'll compare the heads together in a moment for you when I've unboxed all the component parts of this machine made by SIBO. Most of you will know it's virtually a SIBO X1. Which of course is what this head is from, a SIBO Automatic X1. And the head I'm about to remove from the packaging, though it says Ensign Stealth 1, apart from the colour, it is more or less the same as this. I'll show you those two in more detail and we'll compare them, see if there are any differences. Last thing out of the box is the handle and mains cable. Right, that's everything. Now, you may remember I got this Ensign Stealth a while ago for £50 delivered. It was supposed to be brand new and unused. It had very, very slight signs of use, but the main problem was the automatic height control on the cleaning head didn't work. Okay, let's compare these two heads just to make sure they are the same. Okay, so at first glance, they appear very similar. They've got well, the same shape. They've got the same button here to release the agitator, they've got the same bank of lights, they've got the same filter exhaust vent. This part seems the same, let me just check, it's got two prongs here, you might not be able to see, and this one has two prongs. So far, they look the same. From the back, again, they're the same. Underneath, I expect there'll be little or no difference, apart from, of course, this one. Obviously, it's newer, but looking at them, they're more or less the same. This one, though, does have an 1100 watt motor compared to the 850 watt on the old version. And the only this is orange, of course, the little trap door to access for any blockages. This one's grey on the older version, but apart from that, they look the same. Now, what I did with this, I've tried repairing it. I, f I flipped a few parts over from a SIBO X5 I had, but I couldn't determine which part was stopping this from moving. Now I have since fiddled about again and I've actually opened this up, something you should never do. The servo motor, it's full of cogs and gears and uh, once you've opened one of those up, you better be sure you know how to put it back together again. And I wasn't, so it's sort of completely mangled now. But what I did manage to do is lower the actual wheel so the machine was working, albeit it wasn't moving up and down automatically, it just stayed in a fixed low position. So what I'm planning on doing is swapping various parts and checking to see which part is faulty and hopefully I can get this working nicely. But the first thing we need to determine, boys and girls, is does this head that you saw arrived in an absolutely appalling state the motor was working according to the seller. Now I've subsequent, subsequently looked at the seller's feedback and uh, it's not very good. Uh, well, it's okay, but if you leave the seller negative feedback, prepared to get some abuse back. Now I read all those things that the seller had actually, people had bought parts from the seller and they'd been broken or filthy or you know, whatever. I knew this would be dirty. I'm not gonna complain about that. But some of the comments the seller as replied to these paying customers is not good at all. You know, if you've made a mistake as a seller, 
you need to please your customer, you don't hurl back abuse. But anyway, if this doesn't work, I'll be hurling some, ab well, I won't be hurling abuse, I'll just be taking it up with eBay and getting my money back. I, I won't go via the seller. I'll just put a PayPal claim in, it's the easiest thing to do. Right, so this is the base that I need to put onto, not the base, this is the back compartment, I need to put onto the base. So it should just push down, just line it up. No, what I'm going to do first, I'm, I'm jumping the gun because I'm eager to check that works. What I'm going to do first is pop this onto the, the base that it should be on. And it's just a question of pushing it down until it clicks. I'll pop the handle in at the top. Very quick to put together these SIBO machines, no tools needed. Just have to slide the hose in. That's it, it's assembled within seconds. Right, there we go, that's fully assembled. Now I just need to plug it in. It might, uh, I don't know what it'll do now. It might, it might miraculously work, I doubt it. But you never know. Okay, just gonna check it works. Obviously it's not going to work as it should, but the motor should work and the brush should rotate. The problem was, obviously, when I initially unboxed this, the automatic height adjustment wasn't working and I think either one or two of these red lights were flashing. I'm just going to check it works first. So the motor's fine, the brush, the brush should be rotating. Get it down where I can show you. It's a funny angle my camera. And it smells as a new SIBO should. I think it will work. Let me just check there's a bag in. Yes. So it does actually work as a vacuum. I can feel the brushes are actually touching the floor. But when I first had it, the brushes were raised off the floor until, you know, I fiddled about with it. So it works if you don't want the automatic height adjustment to work. So that's fine. Now, hopefully, what I'm going to see, I mean, I don't care really if the motor in this is sounding dodgy. It's not the motor I'm interested in. It's, of course, the other gubbins. So providing on this head that the automatic height control raises and lowers as it should, then that's the first part of the battle to get my Ensign Stealth working again. Right, so I've unplugged this unit before removing it from the, the base of the Ensign. I'm going to pop it on... This X1 base looks very odd. Right, it's clicked into position. There you go, black and, black and grey SIBO for you. Right, here comes crunch time. This should work. As I say, it was just sold as the motor unit. If the motor works, that's fine. If the other things don't work, I can't complain to the seller because basically it was sold as the motor. They just happened to send the whole base, so they didn't say that the height adjustment was working or not. Okay, I'm just going to uh, plug it back in. Right. Oh, again, my regular viewers will know this is always a time. My heart. I thought I heard. A, I, thought, I thought I heard a noise then. This is a time when my heart starts pounding a little bit faster. Once bitten, twice shy, as they say. Okay. I'll do it in the up pipe position. Let's I'm I'm gonna I'm at arm's length. Wow, now that sounds okay. And I saw that the light the head the light for the brush going up was illuminated because I've got this in the upright position. The sensor knows that whenever you put the X machines, the automatic X machines in the upright position, the sensor will always raise the head to the highest position so the brush isn't actually touching the carpet. So when you're using the cleaning tools, for example, I'll just leave it on a little bit longer. It sounded very quiet actually. Just have a little bit of a close up of the head and you'll be able to see the light illuminating. That's fine, that is working perfectly. It's, it's risen 
the little wheel in the middle of the machine, it's risen it to its highest position. Took a while, but it's definitely working. Now, let's lower the handle and check. Now, hopefully, this light should illuminate, showing that the machine is lowering the brush head and it will stop when it's found the optimum height. sensitive that's why I'm not keen on these automatic cleaners it's um, seems okay I'm just going to use it briefly but um, yeah it has lowered it but it's it stopped lowering it quite quickly oh it does look odd in my viewfinder um, a two-tone SIBO I don't like it it either has to be all white or all grey going up and down, it's just doing what a SIBO Automatic X does, it seems to be skimming. Now whether if I put the new brush roll in it might make some different adjustments but I'm fairly pleased and fairly confident that the brush height control is working. One other thing I can just check to see, to simulate a full bag, I'm just going to block the end of the hose and we'll see if the red bagful indicator light comes on, which indicates either a full bag or a blockage. So that seems fine. The motor sounds absolutely fantastic, to be honest. Considering the condition, if you check back, I'll put a link if you haven't seen me originally unbox it. The condition of it was pretty appalling, but obviously, to me, the motor still sounds sweet. Something else that I can check, and I think it does this, is if I keep the hose blocked and the red light on the bag check indicator is illuminated, I think the machine should cut out. So I'm going to do that. If it takes too long, I'll obviously I'll shorten the video, but uh, we'll just see if it's going to automatically cut out. There we go, I shortened that sequence, but yes, it has cut out and look, as you can see, just down at the bottom, that light's flashing, so I need to attend to either the blockage or replace the bag, that's what would happen in the automatic series. So that's good, all I need to do to reset that, if it really did have a blockage or it had a full bag, I'd have to put a new bag in or remove the blockage. And then all you have to do is turn the machine off and then on again. That's fine. One last thing I will check. There's another fail safe on these machines. If you were to get anything jammed in the brush roller, again, to protect the toothed belt, which is supposed to be a lifetime belt on these machines, to protect that, the machine will cut off again. So I'll get something to get blocked, to get an old tea towel or something and suck it in to block the nozzle and we'll see how long it takes for the machine to switch off. I think it should be quicker than it takes to switch off when the bag full light is on. Okay, so I've got an old hand towel. So if this, for example, is under your bed and you don't see it and you go to vacuum under the bed and the machine grabs hold of it, it could cause some damage. So let's see what happens when I do it with this SIBO Automatic X1. There you go, didn't take too long, and as you can see, whoop, there we go, the red light is now flashing above the brush roll symbol, indicating a problem with the brush roll. And as you can see, we can see what the problem is, it's sucked up the towel. So all we have to do is switch the machine off, remove the obstruction, and then it should be okay to carry on with our cleaning.
so all in all, I am extremely pleased. I will not be leaving negative feedback for this seller. I can't cope with the, uh, the abuse I'll probably get back if I was to, but I've no need to. The, the, obviously it was in a terrible state when I got it. I expected that. I did read the seller's description. They said it will be in a mess. I've heard that they get them from um, refuse tips and stuff. I don't know where they get them from. I'm just happy now to have an automatic X1 base that I can use as a donor to hopefully get my Ensign Stealth working. So it's going to be a longer, I don't know if I'll bother with a video for this because it's going to be like a longer diagnosis, diagnosis session. I could do with Rusty Skull here. He'd do it for me, wouldn't you Rusty? Although he has had trouble. At the time of making this video, he's still got a rumbling SIBO Professional G1. But anyway, I'm really, really pleased. Something's gone right for a change. Most things go right actually, but I'm really pleased. I was a bit nervous about that. So another video, I don't think um, I've got the time or patience really to video every step I take to try and get this working. Once I do, fingers crossed I will, I can see no reason why by swapping the parts over that um, I won't get this working. Now I'm going to try the obvious parts first and then just you know, but it could be two parts, that's the trouble. I might in the end end up taking all the bits I need out of this machine and putting it in this one, but trying to eliminate which is faulty. But hopefully I'll be able to eliminate a single part that's faulty, and then at some point I will buy a brand new replacement to go in this, because I don't really want a very old part from here in this machine. I'd rather, you know, have a new one. If that's the case then, I can put the part that I've identified as being faulty in this one, I can put it back in here, so then I've still got a very nice condition X1 base that I can use if I, hopefully, I do want to get an X1 actually, I'm surprised I haven't got one yet for my SIBO collection. For any of you SIBO fans, there are more SIBOs coming up on my channel, I'll be doing a demonstration soon of my SIBO K3 Premium, there'll be an unboxing of my SIBO K1, and also, hot off the press, you are among the first people to know this, unless you follow my Facebook page. I am getting this week, at the time of making the video, in fact it's due tomorrow, I'm getting a brand new SIBO Automatic X Pet Boost, which is the latest SIBO upright that deals with some of the niggles I have over the automatic height control. It still has the automatic height control, but now with the boost model, you have the facility to turn that off. So there's going to be a button, well there isn't going to be, there is a button in the middle of the cleaning head of the pet boost version, which you press, which deactivates the automatic height control and it sets it in its lowest position until I believe you press it again and then it will be back to the automatic setting. But I do think, I think I've read that that feature disengages every time you switch the machine off. So if you switch the machine off at the handle, you need to press the boost button again. You can't just leave it in boost. I think, I'm not sure. We'll find all that out when I unbox the machine, which will be coming up in a few weeks. And of course, following the unboxing, there will be a demonstration. There will be a demonstration of this machine, hopefully. What I want to do is compare the automatic height adjustment with a manual height adjustment SIBO. So I might do, I don't do many of these type of videos, but I might do a versus video where I put the Ensign Stealth up against the SIBO Professional G1. Basically very similar machines, but the G1 has the manual height control so I can set it low or, you know, and it'll stay low. This one, of course, will be going up and down as and when it wants to. But there we go, I'm really, really pleased, very happy. That motor, considering the condition, it's probably quite old, I'm not sure how old it is. I don't think we can date this SIBO from this base, I don't think I can date it from the um, specification. What do they call them? I've shown you enough of them. That thing, that sticker, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> that sticker thing at the bottom, you know, the uh, Serial number thing, yes. I don't think we can date it from that. I've been told that you can date a SIBO from inside the bag compartment door or inside the bag compartment. So, just off camera, I'm looking at my ensign 
and that has got the date wheel in it and it says uh, says 037 so this was made in 2003 July 2003 the original if that's to be believed but I don't know when the base for the X1 was made there we go another quick video for you please stay tuned lots lots more coming up I've got some vintage vacuums to unbox I've got some new vacuums again more SIBOs coming. I'm hoping to get a shark at some point, a new shark cleaner. Uh, which one is it? The rotator li shark lift away, powered lift away, that's it. Hoping to get a powered lift away. I've wanted one for a while and I found somewhere where, where I can get it fairly cheaply. So um, hopefully I'll be doing one of those as well. Lots, lots more to come on iBasiac, so please subscribe if you haven't already. Thumb up and please comment if you've got any questions about this video or vacuums in general. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.